Kia ora, Cameron from Discovering Drams, and this Saturday is St Andrew's Day. It's a national holiday in Scotland. May not be as big as the likes of, say, St Patrick's Day, but by telling a few stories and sharing a few drams, maybe we could start to raise the profile a little. Now, one thing that confused me was why St Andrew became the saint of Scotland. He never visited Scotland, after all. And Scotland had its own saints, like St. Columba and, and St. Kentigern. You might know those names, because there are, there are schools here in New Zealand named after them. So why did Scotland pick Andrew? Well, Andrew was one of Jesus' disciples. And during this time, in the 12th, 13th century, when they were making these decisions, they believed that heaven was very structured in a hierarchy. So you've got God and Jesus up the top, and then you had uh, archangels, angels, bunch of angels, big saints, little saints, and then basically working all your way down to us. And so they looked at the saints that they had, that had actually, you know, visited Scotland and done good deeds, and they thought, yeah, they're good, but we have some of St. Andrew's bones, so we can lay claim to him. And looking at the hierarchy... Because Andrew was one of Jesus' mates, that's got to put him up the top of the hierarchy. So that if we need to put in a good word with the big man, well, Andrew's further up the chain and can talk on our behalf. And so, given all that they had, they went with Andrew. Which, I feel like, is probably one of the better decisions that they could have made. So that is why St. Andrew, among a whole other reasons, is the patron saint of Scotland, and why we celebrate St. Andrew's Day on the 30th of November. So, if you're looking to celebrate too, pour a cheeky way dram and say, Slange to St. Andrew. Cheers.